Okay. I don't even know where to start with this video. What's up? It's Meredith. Welcome back to my channel. I really just need to start this video um, with an apology. There are so many of you who have been subscribed to my channel, but also just have been following my journey with my cancer so closely. And I have felt the genuine, like, concern for my health and well-being. I've felt so much love and support from you guys. So um, with that said, it was never my intention to leave you guys on this sort of cliffhanger um, from my last video. Um, I know that it caused some like unnecessary concern and worry and yeah like I said that was never my intention one of the hardest things about a cancer diagnosis is the amount of guilt that we feel um because we know that it is not just us going through it it affects every single person that we are close to so it causes some serious guilt to be the cause of others stress and worry um so I feel absolutely awful that I left you guys kind of hanging um from my last video so if you watched my last video you know I had another scan to check the status of my cancer and if you're new to my channel um basically in 2020 I was diagnosed with stage four melanoma and it had spread to several places and um, with that said they decided that surgery was not the next option but to go ahead and move on to treatment so I was on immunotherapy treatment for two and a half years my last treatment was in June of last year so um, it's coming up on a year, which is crazy, since my last treatment. And I've documented a lot of this journey on my channel. So I'll share my melanoma playlist in the description box below. So feel free to go check that out, catch up on my whole journey. Um, I won't go into all the details and I don't wanna leave you guys hanging any longer. I do wanna go over my scan results. And the reason that I didn't share um, right as soon as um, I had my oncology appointment, <laughs> it was actually a legitimate excuse, but I went for my oncology appointment. My doctor comes in and says, well, they haven't gone over your scan results yet. Nobody's looked at your scans yet. So, <laughs> so I came to get my scan results and I still didn't get my scan results at that appointment. So my doctor did look over the scans personally um, before he met with me and he said that everything looked stable, but I didn't want to share anything with you guys until I got the actual results, which didn't come until a couple days later. So I did get my scan results. They called me and they did say that my cancer is stable, which obviously I'm very, very grateful. And honestly, that's kind of what I anticipated from this scan. Um, I think because of my last scan, I just didn't really have the highest hopes. Um, but I think even though it's what I expected, it is, I know it's good news. Okay. Like I know people are going to like bash me about being frustrated with these scan results because they're good. It's good that my cancer is stable. And I do understand that your cancer can stay stable for years and years and years, and you can live with cancer. And I, I know that deep down, I know that. I think it's just frustrating because I had gotten that glimpse of things shrinking 
and I had gotten that little like glimmer of hope that I might be able to go into remission one day. So that, that definitely makes it more disappointing when things stay stable. I go for scans every three months. I go through the same process of like, you know, the nerves and the anxiety that surround one of these scans every three months. So I think it's hard realizing that, you know, this is something I'm going to be doing for a long time. And you know, I was diagnosed when I was, how old was I? 28? No. Is that right? 2020. Yeah. I was 28 um, years old when I got this diagnosis in 2020. I'm now 31. And, you know, relatively young. I have young kids. And this is just not something that you want to deal with for the next however many years I have left. And hopefully it's a lot. Hopefully I have a lot of years left on this earth. Hopefully I live until I'm old and gray and <laughs> um, Sorry. Really did not think I was going to get emotional, but if you follow me, you know, I'm an emotional person. <laughs> um, and I don't think I've really talked about this out loud since having this last scan. Um, it's hard to accept the fact that, you know, if I'm living with this for the rest of my life, which is a possibility. Um, you know, that this is gonna be something like I have to go through scans every three months. I have to go through that every three months, that, that fear, the nerves, and I've talked about this in the past, but you know, I really was hopeful that um, I would be in remission and that I could kick my cancer for good before my kids were really old enough to understand. And, um, I don't want to cause them any reason for worry or stress in their life. Um, that goes back to, you know, the guilt that I feel um, with this diagnosis and how it affects every single person around you. Um, and, you know, you don't want to put that on your children, so, um, sorry. All that said, I took some time, obviously, to share these results with you guys, and it started because I, you know, it took, it took more time than I had anticipated, um, to get my actual scan results. And then, um, once I did get the scan results, my kids were on spring break and those with young kids know like how difficult it can be to have even just like a moment of quiet, um, when your kids are home. <laughs> 
and um, let alone to be able to sit down and actually like explain everything um, with you guys with these last with this last scan um, and I wanted to actually be able to sit down and share my thoughts and emotions about um, this these scan results so I feel like I needed that time to really sit with like what I was feeling about my scan results and then all of a sudden you know I had more and more people commenting on my last video like asking if I was okay and they were expressing their like um, concern for me and they were worried about me because I hadn't shared anything and um, I started realizing like okay not only do I need to let you guys know what's going on with my scan results because I don't want to worry anybody but maybe there are other people who are going through something similar and they need to hear that they are not alone and how they're feeling so um yeah and my camera just died <laughs> I am so out of the swing of filming and all of that I just feel like such a noob so anyways my camera died uh I don't even remember what I was saying, but um, I think I pretty much said all that I needed to say, and I hope that you guys know how much I appreciate you. Again, I apologize for any worry or concern that I may have caused you. I am fine. I'm good. I'm healthy. Otherwise, I really am. I feel great. So anyways, be on the lookout for my next video. Subscribe if you haven't already and turn on your notification bell so when I do post a new video, you will be the first to know. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.